Hi friends and welcome to Decorate Your Life. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made these cute, easy DIY, no fuse tool needed shaker pockets and ice cream embellishments using the Spellbinders Designer Series Window Media Pocket and the Spellbinders Stamp and Die Template Set, both by designer Tammy Tutoro. You'll also see how I put together this easy to make flip book using just one 12 by 12 piece of scrapbook paper. And this flip book is going out to a very special birthday girl all the way in Germany. Okay, so the very first thing that I'm gonna show you is how I made these cute and fun shaker pockets. What I use to make these cute shaker pockets is the Spellbinders Designer Series Window Mini Pocket S4-630 by Tammy Tutoro. What you get here are going to be two dies. You are going to get the die that makes the envelope pocket or pocket and then you are going to get this die that makes your window. Now to make the window for your shaker pocket you can use acetate, clear acetate, or you can use vellum. Since I'm out of acetate I chose to use vellum and you can see through just fine. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna show you how I put this together and then we'll move on to the other embellishments. Okay, once we have our die cuts, we are going to follow the score lines. That is the beauty behind these die cuts. They will also provide you with the scoring lines. So now we are going to fold right along here. And we fold right along here. And there's also a line right along there that we are going to fold. There we go. Okay. Now, the next thing that we want to do, let's see, which is my front? Okay. That's my back. I'm going to take some adhesive. And I'm just going to run it through here. This is so easy peasy, easy peasy lemon squeezy. We are then, and excuse my nails once again. <laughs> I tell you ladies, I need to go to the salon because I just can't do my own nails. I make a big mess. <laughs> and there we have our pocket. All right. I mean our window. I should call this a see-through window, our window. All righty. So now the next thing that we can do is we are going to add glue here and add glue here and just bring this down, and that is all there is to it. I'm going to give this an amount of time to dry, just a few minutes, and while this is drying, I'm going to show you how I do my sprinkled ice cream cone. Now, for my sprinkled ice cream cone, I am using the Spellbinders Stamp and Die Template Set SDS-080 by Tammy Tutoro. Yes, this is a designer series, and what I love about this stamp and die set is that you get the best of both. I will be using this stamp on the inside of the card, and I have already uh, cut the pieces over here. Now the beauty about this is, is that you do get a stamp for your ice cream, okay? Now you can do one or two things. For those ladies or gentlemen who are really great at coloring, you can just stamp it and 
color to your heart's content. As you very well know, I'm not that good at coloring. <laughs> I just can't stay in between the lines and I don't know anything about the shading and how to hold a pencil right and everything. So Spellbinders came to the rescue with the dies that coordinate with the stamp. And I am so loving that because I can do this now. Okay, now the first thing that I did was and here's a tip, ladies, if you don't have a stamp block, what um, I've moved a lot of things around in my craft room, so some of the things I don't know where they are. <laughs> so what I've done is I took a large block of stamp, and I just put this right on here, and I put my ink on it, and then I just stamp, and that's all there's to it. It stays put. Okay, so what I did was I took a piece of craft color cardstock, just plain cardstock, and I stamped my image onto it. The next thing that I did was I ran it through my Spellbinders Platinum with a an embossing folder. And I'm happy how it came out. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my full ice cream die and I am going to let's see let me use I always like to use a little bit of washi tape when I'm doing my die cutting just so that my dies stay in place so I'm going to go ahead and just run it through my platinum this is what you come out with and I just love this because I love the system because I, I stink at fussy cutting <laughs> <laughs> and this is so helpful, I tell you. So I've taken the liberty of die cutting the other pieces as well. Now, you have a choice here. You can either mount them like I have here, just one flat surface. And the reason why I've done this flat surface is because I'm going to be inserting this or adhering it to a... Um, snail mail flip book okay in which you'll see in just a little bit and I, I needed this to be as flat as possible but there are so many possibilities with these ladies you can use your um, foam dots to build volume onto this and it'll look just beautifully and what I have done here for my dots these are supposed to be sprinkles I used this right here and uh, yeah let's go ahead and get started with the second one it's so easy to do uh, we have this one I made a three scoop just kind of like playing around with it and this one I'm gonna use the entire four scoop system so let's see how this comes out there and this is going to take a couple of minutes to dry. I'm going to go back to my pocket. It is all dry by now. Happy happy about it. I am going to open this like so.
guys, this is how I make my embellishments, how I'm making my pocket uh, shaker embellishments, and how I'm making these cute ice cream embellishments to go in my flipbook snail mail. Okay, so now I have taken this sentiment that came in the Ta Tammy Tutoro Spellbinders stamp and die set, and now I'm just coloring in That's what it looks like on the inside. So now, let me put these away. I am going to put together my flip book. Now, this is a very simple flip book that I'm making, okay? It's supposed to close like this, like this, like this, like that, and like that, and then I tie it together, okay? And um, another thing is because of the shipping and everything, this is going overseas. It's going to Germany, actually, and I need to keep the shipping as low as possible, hence this very flat flip book. So how I made this base for the flip book is as follows. I used one 12 by 12 sheet of scrapbook paper, and then I scored it, and then I cut it. Let me tell you the score marks. <clears throat> The first score mark was at three. I flip my paper to the other side like that, and then I score it again at three. So I have these two score marks. To make these two score marks, I turned my paper this way, and I scored it at three and a half, okay? Turned it <laughs> this way, and I scored it at three and a half. Now, if you're wondering how I made this envelope, I did use the Spellbinders Amazing Paper Grays Cascading Grace Pocket number S6-046. And if you need to see a tutorial, I do have a tutorial out there on how I created or how I altered this envelope. I will leave that link in the description area below and one right up there. Okay, so I made this for her, and this is going to go here. Now, the reason why I like making my envelopes like this is so that when the recipient wants to display her card, she can easily put it right over like so. I'll show you real quick. There's the opening, like so. Okay, so she can display it. Let's say she's at the office or her room or whatever. She can display it like this. This would be the front of her card, and this would be the back of her card. And obviously, you cannot mail this envelope like this. You would have to put it in a different, larger envelope. But I think it's a pretty neat concept. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this blank like this, and then... We are going to mount this right on here, once again, using these silicone uh, glue dots. A silicone dot myself. <laughs> hey, I'm sending myself to Germany. <laughs> okay, that one's going to go there. So now I'm going to take my little ice cream thing, because see the whole theme is around ice cream and the sequins and the stars and whatnot, they're supposed to be the sprinkles, okay? 
Isn't that cute? I hope that you have enjoyed this easy to make shaker pocket and ice cream embellishment tutorial. If you just happen to come across this video and you're not a subscriber, go ahead and click on that subscribe button, hit that bell icon so that way YouTube will notify you each time I upload a video. What I do at Decorate Your Life is paper crafting, it is all about crafting, and some tutorials as well, and I hope that you stick around because I do love to share the love. Anyways, thank you all so very much for watching my videos and thumbs up if you enjoyed this tutorial. Well, just thumbs up anyways. <laughs> Go ahead and leave me a nice comment here and in my blog and I will see you all again real soon. And don't forget to hit that like button. Bye. <laughs>